What's going on YouTube? All right, let's get into the five tools that I didn't have when I first started out this handyman weekend warrior business, but absolutely have now for years since I'm a full-blown contractor slash general contractor, not so much handyman. Let's get into it. Welcome back guys and letting you guys know there's a sponsor for this video is Jobber. More on them in a little bit, but let's get into number one. Number one being tool trailer or I'd say contractor van, contracting trailer, organized vehicle with tools. Just throw that in there because if you're if the customer sees a Geo Metro pulling up with you know cans falling out, you got tools everywhere, it's not a good look, it's not a professional look. Having a tool trailer absolutely transformed my business. Not even having it labeled, not even in, in a ladder rack on top of it, but having the space inside dry to keep my tools is an absolute game changer. It will be for you too. Highly recommend a tool trailer or at least a contractor van, maybe even a truck with a cap just to keep your stuff dry. Absolutely the best way to go. It's a definite wow factor when I lower the ramp on the back of my trailer or you know, the new trailer coming up as well too. It's fantastic. It makes you look professional. Also, it shows the customer that you care, that you're invested in this business. You're not a weekend warrior because no weekend warrior is gonna go and buy a, a trailer and put all their stuff in it. They're, that's the Geo Metro kind of person that, but you gotta charge accordingly for it as well too. It, it's a big time and money investment as far as having a separate dedicated vehicle for your business or a trailer for your business as well. I chose truck and trailer because in my area in Michigan, I need four wheel drive. And at the time when I was buying these um, this trailer, the van, four wheel drive vans was only aftermarket. Now, I think uh, Ford since like 2019 or 2020 has come out with a four wheel drive or all wheel drive Ford Transit. That's also, uh, nowadays, that's also a great opportunity for me as well. But truck and trailer was four wheel drive. Plus I can carry on the family if I need to. I don't need a dedicated vehicle for the business. Highly recommend you guys stay organized. Nothing's gonna impress the customer more than an organized, well communicated contractor who just does everything they say they're gonna do when they say they're gonna do it. You being able to just to hook up your trailer or get in your van and go to the job site without you know thinking oh did i did i forget my tool or did i forget this or whatever everything's inside your truck trailer and van because you, it, you that's where you left it right so having organization is key it's going to save you so much time on a job site in front of a customer being able to upsell customer because you know you have a certain inventory or you have a certain tool that you can do a job real quick and that's just more money in your pocket right with hands down number one this is really not in crazy order but number one is definitely a tool trailer or a van of some sort to keep yourself organized keep your business organized in front of a customer because when you're on a job site and at a customer's house it really set the precedent for professional work, being professional and professionalism in your business. Number two is gonna be a professional workstation. I don't care what you guys have. There's multiple different miter stations you have. This is mine. This is what I built out and I absolutely freaking love. This is a Paul, I think, total station. I have the wings out for out there. Basically, I can get eight foot material and it just stays there. It's no big deal. I actually built it for my XGT uh, 12 volt dual bevel compound miter saw, but a professional workstation absolutely will set you apart. I've had multiple in contractors and of course homeowners, you know, it, it just makes, it sets yourself apart. Plus the efficiency that this thing allows you. I love having, I love having places for all my tools. You know, I got crap down there. I've got, you know, plenty of stuff here that I, it's just a workstation. I can, it's a flat spot and then flat spots on job sites are, I mean, they're, they're super, super rare. I mean, so you can actually work on them. It's, it's very nice. Obviously I have the Milwaukee table saw. So it's an outfeed going in with the miter saw with the fence, repeatable cuts. There's so many things I can do. You guys can see I'm building a barn door slash bookshelf for my DVDs eventually. So material storage underneath having this is fantastic. Of course you have plenty of storage. I have the cordless miter saw with the cordless vacuum. And you can see just real quick here, it doesn't get all the dust, but it doesn't need to. Flat spots will accumulate a bunch of crap on job sites. This one does too. Have had no problems with it whatsoever. It's on caster so I can roll it around if I need to. Again, not very portable. I have better portable stations elsewhere uh, for like my eight and a half inch Makita. This is, if I'm gonna be on the job site for a week or longer, I'm definitely gonna set this up and just get to cutting multiple cuts. I just built out some storage in my basement. Of course, this thing stayed in my garage. I'm gonna bring this into my basement. And it was easy, multiple cuts, made it super light work, made a, you know, probably like a three or four hour job turned into a one and a half an hour job. And it just works. So having a awesome, I guess you wanna call it rolling miter station, whatever you wanna call it, is key for me. And you guys should look into it. It does take some time to build. 
I, I took about eight hours or so for this to, you know, build out. But, you know, it takes some time to, you know, a whole day of your labor. You know, it, it's expensive for what it is because it's going to cost you a day plus, you know, a couple hundred bucks in materials, depending on what you want to build it out. I built this one out of birch and it, it just works. It, it absolutely is, fits my needs and I highly recommend you guys invest some time. And it was, it's been years, like I think three or four years before I actually built my first one when I was in business and it absolutely changed everything. Easy spot to put stuff on. No worries whatsoever. Now I can throw things in there and it just accumulates. And I think I have like a square down here somewhere that I didn't even know I had. But yeah, guys, this number two being a workstation, a professional workstation, I think it's a no brainer. And number three on this list is the sponsor of this video, Jobber. If you're like me, when you're first starting out, you're going to start accumulating customers and you're going to want to be able to manage those customers appropriately. That's where Jobber comes in. Basically, sending out estimates is key. You want to be able to get your numbers in front of the customers as soon as possible. Jobber makes that very, very easy with their phone app and obviously their desktop uh, software. It is fantastic the way you can manage customers. You can schedule calls. You can put everything in your schedule. I recently just synced everything with my Google calendars and it just seamlessly integrates with everything. Highly recommend it. And of course, invoicing. Everybody loves invoicing customers because that's how we get paid. And if you want to, you can set up your banking information and you start collecting credit card payments via Jobber as well. I know it might be seem a little bit scary for you if you're not sure about the, the rates. The rates for Jobber, 2.9% plus a 30 cents per transaction fee, which is actually better than my other uh, handheld credit card processing software. So highly recommend Jobber. This, the customer relations with everything, you have professional grade estimates and invoices being sent to and from. The client portal with Jobber offers is fantastic. My customers absolutely love it where they can go in, see when their next payments do, see when you're going to be showing up the schedule wise, when somebody else is going to be showing up, you can add as many workers as you want to with Jobber as well. Highly recommend it. Now with a limited time, you guys can get two weeks free trial. Plus if you sign up right now using the link below and also in the description of this video, you can save 20% off your first six months of your subscription. Highly recommend it guys. Give them a try. I would just, it's been great. I've absolutely loved it. And I'm going to be using them going forward, of course, keeping everything streamlined and keeping business going the way it should be. Appreciate Jobber for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on to number four. You know, it's going to be here. Number four, three plane laser. This is my two plane old one, three plane Milwaukee laser. Absolutely recommend that one over this one, but get yourself a laser. They absolutely make you more efficient and obviously show the customer that you care about quality you care about getting it right the first time because it's hard to get it wrong once you have a laser sitting there and basically pointing out the line that you need to meet and it, it absolutely it's visual proof and obviously it, it's, a, it's a wow factor for the customer first and foremost but for me having the milwaukee one is a, a no-brainer for me this one serves its purpose it's two plane it's i call it the r2d2 it's been out for a long time, super expensive for what it is. I think this was almost 800 bucks when it first came out. And uh, yeah, I bit the bullet back then, but I didn't have it when I first started out because, you know, measuring stuff. I know you. I know there's a lot of guys in the, the comment section. You can stop typing again. I know you can measure stuff 500 times, get it right. I know, yes, you can. This is just the easy button. You, you basically pay out of your pocket. You set this up, boom. Now you know exactly where you need to mount that mirror, mount those TVs. You can set them up, you know, if you're mounting boxes, if you're an electrician. So many things you guys can do with lasers outdoor indoor yeah it just makes you look more professional kind of the, the point of this entire video as far as the quality the professionalism of everything and of course you know like going back you're like did i really measure like do i really as long as you get the initial measurement for where the laser was supposed to be and of course you know where the customer wants whatever they want mounted on a wall wherever it's at or where code you know dictates where things need to be you're good to go and being it self-leveling to a certain extent super easy for adjustments and three planes is where it's at. That way you can have a straight cross, crossing where you need to, vertical and horizontal. And of course, someplace on the, on the ceiling if you need something in dead center, anywhere you need it. But highly recommend a laser, a cheat code for any contractor. And of course, something that I didn't pick up until I was years into the business. But it's buy once, cry once kind of ding. And absolutely would recommend the Milwaukee as long as you're in the M12 and M18 lineup over the Makita. This one, not exactly as user-friendly as the Milwaukee just because of the, of the thicker threads in the bottom, it's hard. This one I can mount on a pole, goes as high as I need to, as low as I want to. This one's a little, little. Mm, I mean, this one came out like six or seven years before the Milwaukee, so it is what it is, but it leaves a lot to be desired over the Milwaukee. Number five, and finally, basically a track saw. Now, it doesn't have to be this track saw, 
But I know you're what you're thinking in the, you know, in the comment section, stop typing. You're like, oh, I don't need a track. So I've been working 10, 10, 20 years, blah, blah, blah. It makes a difference. And absolutely, I would not even have built this Paul Total Station here without a track saw. This thing, it absolutely, I say yes to work because I have this tool. If that makes any kind of sense to you. Yeah, I don't, you, you can use it with circular saw, cut a couple, couple pieces of straight edge. Yeah, you can make yourself straight cuts. This is a cheat code for being efficient. It is a wow factor too for cut, you know, you're like, hey, you know, I've had customers like, hey, how are you going to cut that piece right? I mean, oh, I'm, I got a track saw. It's going to make it one rip down there. Five minutes, including setup and tear down time and cleanup. And I am done with that cut. This thing is absolutely one of the best tools. And it's one of those tools that when you buy it and you use it for a couple of times, you're going to be like, why didn't I buy this so much sooner? Now, the reason why I didn't buy this, I knew this, these existed, but I didn't buy these as soon as I should have because of the cost. It is a pretty high barrier to entry tool. And of course it takes... Like I've got 118, I think 118 inch track. This is a 32 inch track. I got a, you know, it, it takes space to store the tracks as well. Cause mine are one piece. They're not, you know, you don't connect them together or anything like that with the uh, Makitas. This tool, even though this is the, I think this is the, this is the 40 volt. So I had the 30 or the 36 volt before this. Love this tool. Makita did a great job with their track saw. Uh, every major tool brand I think has a track saw. It's not, it's not imperative for you to go and buy the Makita version over something else. If you already have the battery line, buy that one. Having a track saw literally will make your life so much easier. Wow factor. And once you're on the site, you, you make one or two cuts and you get things done. It's going to make a difference. It's going to make you look more professional. It's going to, getting things done is really good. Keeping things nice and tidy on the job site, not having to rip out huge boards. You're breaking down, you know, four by eight sheets of everything. Track saws are money. I would highly recommend them. All right, that's all I have for you guys on this video. Big shout out to Jabba for supporting the channel and this video as well. Some of those tools I wish I would have bought sooner and some of them, I mean, I don't think I could have. I just, you know, it's the progression of being a small business owner. It is what it is. Let me know in the comment section below if there's something I missed out in this video, you guys. We'll see you on the next one.